Hello and welcome to my convert box review. I'm super stoked to finally be talking about this specific offer. Uh, convert box I've been using for a good amount of time now. I've had some great results with it that I want to kind of share with you and talk about how you can actually use this to increase your leads, your traffic, and overall your sales. As it says right here, launch personalized offers, lead capture forms, and segmentation funnels to the right visitors at the right time with the easiest, most powerful on-site engagement platform. I could not agree with that anymore. Also, what's cool about it is that during during this time, as of creating this video, they do have a special lifetime pricing. You don't need to request early access or anything like that on the page. I will put a link down below in the description that will bypass that. You can go right to it. And of course, if you're in time, get a really good deal on this. So let's move on over to the dashboard. I'll talk a little bit about it and then, of course, how it works and, of course, creating all your convert boxes for your website. So first and foremost, what I like about this is that I feel like anytime you're using pop-ups or like exit pops, call out sticky bars, it's almost like a lot of clicks or interactions that you would have pretty much never gotten before, especially when it comes to like an exit pop where someone goes to leave your page. It's kind of like a last ditch effort. So as you can see here so far, I've had 108,000 views, over 5,000 interactions, and I've generated a lot of sales from that. It's going to show zero leads specifically for the fact that when I was doing lead generation, I would have someone click on a button and that would direct them to my squeeze page rather instead of just capturing their information there. So that's why it says that. Either way, let's just get started when it comes to utilizing this. I'm going to show you the uh, process for creating this. It's very smooth. It's simple. It's all in the cloud. It's great. I love the uh, overall feel of it. It's not clunky compared to a lot of the other alternatives that I've used for solutions like this. Anyway, let's get started. This is just going to be an example. Convert box review. This is going to be a pop-up. Keep in mind, there are a lot of different functions when it comes to pop-ups. Like if someone clicks on a link, a pop-up can occur. If they scroll to a certain portion of the page, a pop-up can occur. Or my favorite, if they go to X the page, like if they take their cursor and go whoop, then you can have a pop-up come up. So let's select the convert box type. So this is going to be selecting the type of convert box. I wanted to do the center. You can also do full page if you like. I just happen to like center. I'm going to click on select. And of course, we have plenty of templates that you can utilize to get started with. I happen to like this one because I like using a picture of myself in it. So I'm going to go with this. If you want something simpler, that's going to be up to you. But these are all great places to start when it comes to utilizing any type of pop up. So it's pretty much drag and drop. What you see is what you get and click on something, edit it, you know, drag it around, play with it. Uh, for example, let's say I don't want this person here. We click on this. We have our background image. We can remove this. Now what I can do, I'm just going to go select my image. Okay, so now that it's there, what I can do is play around with it. I think it's going to be fill and like the bottom right. There we go. So there I am. Um, let's say I'm going to be promoting convert box. So what I could say is something like this, you know, before you go. Let's say I was doing a convert box review on my website, you know, get lifetime access to convert box before it ends. And since I have OCD, <laughs> I want that to be two lines. It's just going to look so much better than three. Perfect. And then this could be like a call to action, um, you know, click the button below. And this would be like our button where the link would go. So like click here to continue. Sometimes I like doing two call to actions. Okay. Something like that. And obviously this is where we can edit our button settings. Now there's a lot of things you can do, whether it's going to be a button, an image. And of course, when it comes to the settings, we can open it in a new tab, which I love doing. There's a lot of cool things you can do here, but this obviously is going to be like where your URL would go if you wanted to obviously send it to a specific page or a URL or wherever it's going to be and so on and so forth. All right. So I just put google.com, <laughs> uh, Disclaimer, don't send your traffic to Google. They have plenty. Okay. They they're good. Uh, let's just say like I was going to create something like that. You know, I can also add a button to or a box or an image. Let me do that. So I'm going to drag over the image over here. Let's say I want this to go there. Give me a sec. I'm going to grab an image. Yeah, I do have the convert box image. So I'm going to close this. Okay, something like that. So pretty simple, pretty smooth. And the cool thing about this is that I don't like using these on mobile anyway, but you can check out. It looks really good. I feel like if you're going to be doing an exit pop, it's kind of very tough to do on mobile, especially when people are going to be leaving. But creating A-B tests is extremely easy. So we have this one right here. All you have to do is click on create new variation. And then we go here. And what I like doing is like, you know, changing this slightly. So I like to see what headlines are going to be best. Like get a, a huge convert box discount 
before it ends, you know, something like that. So now you can see there are two variations and automatically it's going to split test them where we can send 50 traffic here, 50 traffic there, and ultimately see what is the best. Overall, this is an absolute breeze to use. As you saw, it's kind of just pretty much clicking on what you want to edit, editing it and going from there. Obviously, you have the display options. This is going to be very important. So triggers, when do we want this to show up? So it could be time on page, scrolling the page, period of no activity, page abandonment, or clicking on a link on a page. For me personally, I love it when it's page abandonment. I think these work great. These are some of the clicks that like you can pick up where it's more about giving them something really enticing. Like, oh, before you go, did you know you can get a bonus or you can get lifetime access or you can get an extended trial or you can get a discount or you can get a coupon, whatever it's going to be. This is going to be your last chance effort to get that click to wherever you might want it to be. It could be a lead magnet. It could be a sale. It could be a product. It could be an offer. It could be a webinar, whatever it's going to be and so on and so forth. Frequency, how long do we want to, or how often do we want to show this to someone? Usually I'll be like two times per day, just so it doesn't get too annoying. And a maximum really doesn't matter, you know, unless someone comes back 30 times. I do like suppressing the frequency of close. So if someone clicks on X, I will say don't show again until the next day. Just my preference. I don't want, if someone hits X and they keep coming back to the page and it keeps reloading, I think that's annoying as a visitor. I wouldn't want that for me personally. So that's just something I do. And of course, location is very important. What you can do is you can do include or you can do exclude. I personally like whenever I'm say going after an offer, I'm going to put on all the pages that are related to that. That's going to help you get the most amount of targeted clicks in my opinion. So if this was for like a convert box review, obviously it's going on the convert box review page, maybe the pricing page, maybe the demo page and so on and so forth. Then we have targeting. Targeting, you can do all visitors, which I don't like. I like these specific visitors. For this specifically, I do want say desktop only desktop so it would be that i can do save and i can do or if or and if like it's desktop and they're i don't know you know coming from a specific location or you can do or and you can really add any of these like has not visited the page before like there's a lot of cool things you can do with this but i like keeping it simple overall something like desktop is going to be what i'm going to be using for that specific one speaking of that like i said there are multiple things you can do with it you can really specialize and go advanced if you want but i like i always say the simpler the better callouts are great they're going to be boxes that show up on the bottom left or the right so if i click on this you can see exactly what this you can actually do quizzes and stuff. You can segment people based upon what they're looking for. You can add discounts. But for me, I just like adding it as another way to generate more clicks. So it's going to work the same exact way. So I don't need to take too much time picture of me. And this once again is going to be something I like on desktop. When it comes to mobile, I like using the sticky bars because I feel like they're great, that they're not obtrusive, they don't take up a lot of space, and that will allow me to get more clicks on mobile as well. But this is going to be the same exact thing when you want to double click this edit it for a great call to action, of course. And then if you want to add like an image, if I am promoting an offer here, I will add an image. Uh, give me a second, I'm gonna add one in, just like that. And then of course, you know, access, you know. Usually what you want to do here is a call out box. So when they're scrolling down, you know, eventually you can display this, you know, if they've been on the page for a certain amount of time or if they scrolled a certain percentage. For me, it's going to be around, say, 15 seconds or maybe like 25% of the page. It can differ, obviously, but something around there where at least they've read some of it and it's not just obtrusive, just showing up in their face right away. But that's just another great feature when it comes to this. And all this works the same in terms of creating your bars, your sticky bars, your pop ups, and so on and so forth. It's a a very simple platform to use. The A-B split testing is super simple, as I talked about before, and allows you to choose which one you want to use best so you can keep increasing those clicks, those conversions, and hopefully those sales by getting more in the process. Let's talk about what it has to offer in terms of the pricing and everything else. So I only went over a few of the functions, but this is more about doing a lot of the cool stuff I was talking about, whether you're targeting the right visitors, that's more about the advanced targeting. You can build lists, you can collect data, you can do like the quizzes when it comes to it, the drag and drop simplicity you saw, segmenting visitors and leads, and of course, tracking everything along with A-B testing. So this is more about engagement. You can guide people where they want to go. That's more about a quiz. So if they click on A, they're going to go this direction. If they click on B, maybe they'll get a lead magnet. If C, they're ready to go, maybe we'll give them 
a video presentation of exactly what they're looking for. Obviously, you can collect data. There's going to be integrations when it comes to doing that. We talked about with lead generation, there are going to be countdown timers. This is great if there's a launch coming out that'll really increase your clicks. That is a great way to do that. Like, hey, time is running out. This launch is ending in 12 hours. If someone sees that, the chances are much higher that they're going to click on it, especially if they can get some type of discount or anything similar. Uh, embedding your favorite tools, creating quizzes. I'll probably do another video on that just to show you. Then, of course, that you can display this pretty much anywhere you want. This is going to be the slide in notification, the center modal, sticky bars, the full page takeover. You can embed it in your content or even on the sidebar. In fact, allow me to show you exactly what it looks like using one of the most recent ones I created. Okay, so here we are on a review I did for Tube Atlas. And you'll notice once I scroll down a little bit, there's going to be a call out showing up. And there it is, tube atlas discount. So it really gets someone's attention. I said, click the button below to get your discount before it comes to an end. And of course, this would go to the offer. So that's one of them. You know, they're still looking. And then, of course, they go through should they choose to buy or not. I'm also going to be adding in the pop up. I think this is one of the best spots for using. I said, wait, uh, unlike your discount before it's gone, you can click the button below to continue. As simple as that. I use me for just because it's me and, of course, the logo. So they know that they're going to be going somewhere related to tube atlas. Uh, that's pretty much what it looks like when you integrate with your website. Yes, you can use it with WordPress. They do have a very easy plugin and installation that they walk you through as well. So let's talk about the price night that you've seen the inside of it and of course how it works. The pricing is absolutely phenomenal, in my opinion, especially for the fact that right now it's going to be a one-time payment of $4.95. I have used so many different type of products when it comes to something like this. Most of them have been recurring, and they haven't even been as close to as good as this. And ConvertBox has been something that's been consistently there for me to use for probably a couple of years now. Meanwhile, in the past, I've had a lot of bugs and problems with other ones in terms of billing and payment, and it's just pretty much been a nightmare, especially for the fact if you're going to pay around $100 for something like this, it's pretty much going to just pay off in like five months, especially if you're utilizing it properly and you have enough traffic. It's pretty easy to get more clicks overall, turn those into leads and of course sales, whether you're selling your own product or someone else. Last but not least is going to be the pro upgrade. This is what I got along with it. So instead of a certain amount of views, like instead of 250, you get 500,000 per month. You can use on 50 sites instead of 10. You can manage logins for five sub users, which I haven't used, but it's cool to have. And of course, you can use ConvertBox for clients. So that is going to be the pro upgrade if you wanted to get it with that. So all in all, in my opinion, this has been the absolute best type of product when it comes to creating those pop-ups. Uh, if you want to generate leads, get more clicks, this is one of those products that has easily paid off for me very quickly, especially for the fact since I had traffic and it's more about directing it towards a targeted offer based upon what the traffic is going to be interested. So, so two very big thumbs up for me when it comes to ConvertBox. I will put the link down below where you can go straight to this page where it talks about everything that it offers for the lifetime pricing. And of course, if you want, you can get started from there. That'll bypass the whole like requesting a link and it save you some time in the long run. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that pretty much wraps up my ConvertBox review solid product. I love it. I've been with this for a while and I'm going to keep using it because it's been probably one of the best products in terms of what it does. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy ConvertBox as much as I do.